Hello, Planeswalker. Welcome to One Pack of Magic, where we open One Pack of Magic cards. Get crazy with the cheese whiz, because it is back to school weekend, and we're continuing with another pack of Strixie Mixie School of Pixies. Here we go. <clears throat> All right, starting out with an art card. Art card. Oops. Imbraham, Dean of Theory. Yeah, that looks what good Dean of Theory would look like. We got a Foil Swamp. Pretty cool looking. Starting off, Teachings of the Archaic. Two in the blue, it's a lesson. Wait, why is it silver up first? Really? Oh, we got two rares, okay. Don't touch that dial. <laughs> There's more to come. Uh, so we'll see a lesson. And if an opponent has more cards in hand than you, draw three cards. Draw two cards. Just two. Draw three cards. Instead, if an opponent has at least four more cards in hand than you. There's the draw three. Archway Commons. Land. Archway Commons enters the battlefield. Tapped. When Archway Commons enters the battlefield, sacrifice it unless you pay one. Tap. Add one man of any color. So you get a pay-to-play, and then run away. Speaking of which, Vortex Runner, two in a blue, human wizard, two, three. <clears throat> as long as you control eight or more lands, Vortex Runner gets plus one, plus zero, and can't be blocked. Ooh. That's someone good for late game, if you can get to that point. Well, there's cards that'll help you put land into play. Eureka moment. Huzzah. Two green blue instant draw two cards. You may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. Like I said, Ley Line Invocation. Five and a green sorcery. Create a zero zero green and blue fractal creature token. Put X one one counters on it, where X is the number of lands you control. I'm sensing a theme with this pack. <laughs> Zephyr Boots. Fly away on my zephyr. Oh, wait, no. Wait, Anthony Kiedis is... Never mind. Single drop artifact. A quick creature has flying. Whenever a quick creature deals combat damage to a player, draw a card, then just a card a card. Equip for two. Attach target creature as... Well, only a sorcery. Team Pennant. Single drop artifact. A quick creature gets plus one plus one and has vigilance and trample. Oh, great. They become a hooligan. Equip, cre equip creature token for one, unequip for three. Hey, get added to that fractal. Vilda, Dean of Perfection. Two different cards, but two in a green, two in a blue. Gen with legendary Gen Wizard. Two two. You may exile an instant or sorcery card from your hand and put three hone counters on it. It gains at the beginning of your upkeep. If this card is exiled, remove a home counter from it. And when the last home counter is removed from this card, if it's exiled, you may cast it. It costs four less to cast this way. And on the flip side, Nas Nasari, Dean of Expression. Three red red, effort, legendary effort shaman. Four four, at the beginning of your upkeep, exile the top card of each opponent's library. Until end of turn, you may cast uh, spells from among those exiled cards, and you may spend mana as though it were mana of any color to cast those spells. That would be good in multiplayer. Whenever you cast a spell from exile, put a one on one counter on Nasiri, Dean of Expression. That's even... Okay. That... That is, that is a perfect commander card right there. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't really do much commander... But, I mean, if I were to, they would definitely be a, a deck. So. Oh, oh, we even got more. Semester's End. Three and a white instant. Exile any number of target creatures and or planes off of you control. At the beginning of the next end step, return each of them to the battlefield under its owner's control. Each of them enters the battlefield with an additional plus one plus one counter on it. If it's a creature, and an additional loyalty counter on it if it's a planeswalker. So, bounce everything, bring them back stronger. Nice. 
We got uh, Mystic Archives of Cultivate. Two and a green sorcery. Search your land for up to two basic land cards. Reveal those cards. Put one onto the battlefield. Tapped. And the other into, into your hand. Then shuffle. You know, land crazy in here. Oh, and we got a foil of Zimone. Quandrix Prodigy. Um, green, blue, legendary human wizard. One, two. Pay one, tap. You may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. Tapped. Four. And tap, draw a card. If you control eight or more lands, draw two cards instead. And secret layer ever, which means this is a token of an elemental. Blue red elemental, four four. All right. Uh, I actually got some really good cards in this set. Let's do a little. Uh, I didn't even know. Zoom in a bit here, and then we'll do the uh, the rundown. Uh, honestly, ooh, she would be good. I mean, she's only uncommon, so she would be good, uh, popper, but. Ooh, the one-pack combo. Well, yeah, because that's later on. Uh, but actually, well, let's see, well, there we go. Which has... The Eureka Moment has uh, Zimon on it. Cool. So, there's the one-pack combo. Draw two guards, play land. That makes it stronger. But, got a lot of land. Uh, got a lot of put lands into, well, a lot of land cards. Um, like I said, she would be good for Commander. Um, cultivate's always good. So I search your land for two land cards. And if you're green, it's easier. But yeah, that's I do like that. Um bounce all your creatures. Um Well, oh yeah, you could do that because it's an instant, so you can play it any time. So play it like the end of your opponent's turn. You won't be attacking one round, but or, you know, don't attack as much. And then at the end step, bring all those creatures back in stronger. That's pretty damn nasty. Especially if you got ones with, uh, when this gets, you know, when this gets counter, blah, blah, blah. I'm sure there's counter boosters, creatures. There has to be. It's over 5,000 magic cards. Well, ooh. Actually, more than that. It's probably 100,000. Oof. A lot of magic cards. Um... I like this one. I like their ability more than their... I mean, I like this one. Exile, and then, like, you could exile a big spell. Oh, like, um... Well, I mean, it wouldn't be in the deck, but you could exile this for three. There's another one-pack combo for you. Tap them, exile this, put three home counters on it. It becomes one in a green... And since there's a, a archway, you can produce that one green, and then boom. Or play them in a green, blue-green deck. Anyway, there's another one-pack combo for you. Um, hmm. This is pretty good. Especially when a token creature becomes 1-1 uh, one, one or trample. So, I do like that. Definitely would play a few of them. Um, flying creature, and then when they deal damage, you get to cycle. That is... That's a pretty good deal for basically three mana. Uh, this is nasty. Especially, uh, like I said... It's, you know, six, so it's a minimum going to be a 6-6 six, six green blue. P later you play it on. Uh, the only, well, actually, as we say, the only thing is, like, it doesn't do anything. But, another one, well, you know, you could equip this on it for one. Especially you're saving, saving mana from that. 
There you go. Exile. Exile this spell. For that. Put it on the play. And then attach that to it so it becomes a... Mm. Well, if you play it late enough, it'll be a 6-6. Six, six. That'd make it a 7-7 seven, seven with Vigilance and Trample. Boom. And you can, you can equip it for one. So... I don't know how... Well... It's pretty high up, so that's probably why it's common. But... This is good. Draw two cards, play land. It doesn't even see. It doesn't say if you drew a land. It just says, draw two cards. You may put a land card. So if you already got one, you can boost it up. Like I said, that would also be a good two pack combo. Play that, get more land, and then play that to make it bigger. Um. Again. If you got eight lanes in play, so that would be they'd be good for late game. Or as you have seen with this pack, <laughs> yeah, I've there are various ways to put more lands into play by the time you get to playing them. But a three three unblockable three three is pretty damn good. Um if you add lifelink to them, that'd be even better. They're doing three damage and you gain three life. Uh, well, one man of any color is good, but the fact that you have to pay, well, yeah, you got to pay to play. But there are multiple sources to, you know, you got to tap a land to make this. So, mm. and it's an alright lesson. The problem is with blue. I unless you're doing a mirror deck, or unless you're facing another player who's also playing blue, I don't see a point where blue has less cards in their hand than uh, other players. I don't. I don't see how that could happen. Uh, let's see the MVP. God, there's too many cards to pick. I mean, this is a, this is a pretty solid deck, a uh, solid pack anyway. Um, so I'm gonna do two, just two. But um, these are the MVPs. Her for massive land dropping, and this one versatility, one for the hone, and then one for. Multiplayer. Like I said, this would be good in you know any sort of multiplayer. Commander. Actually, it'd be really funny in Commander, since you can only do like one card. <laughs> Exile the top card, play all their cards, and then uh, <laughs> they can't play the cards. So if you if they play if they get their like. This would probably mess up combo decks more than anything else. But, uh, in any case, that is Strixhaven, School of, School of Mages. Um, I will see you tomorrow. Have a magical day.